Hello everybody, my name's Jane Green um, and just as I sat down to make this video for you when I found a quiet corner of my house to do it in, two of my dogs have come and sat right behind my head. So excuse us if you can see some movement behind because Seamus and Rupert could get up and start barking at any moment. So Ivan has asked me to um, give you a little overview of me and my career. So my name is Jane and I work for several organisations at the moment. I work for the Royal Television Society, I work for the University of Worcester and I work for Worcester Cathedral. Um, all are very different roles but all tend to link in. So my role for the Royal Television Society is probably the, the main one, it's the one I've done for the longest and I've worked for them for nearly 10 years. Um, the Royal Television Society, I've got some notes here, so excuse me if I keep looking down. The Royal Television Society promotes the art and science of television um, and we like to nurture new talent, so that's people like you, and we also like to celebrate existing talent and what's made in our particular region. And the region that I work for is the Midlands region, so that covers all of the East and West Midlands. And within the RTS, my job is to make sure that everybody's happy, make sure that all of our members are happy, make sure that I know what's going on in the region, who's making what, Shh, sorry that's Rupert, um, make sure that I know who's making what, what productions are coming into the region and what there is that's Midlands connected that we can celebrate. So I organise masterclasses, I organise premieres um, and I organise the big awards ceremony that we hold every year which is a little bit like the BAFTAs that you might see on telly but for um, television rather than the film side of the industry and really the craft skills side as well. Um, and that's brilliant fun and it's a great event. It's really exciting. It's big red carpet, very posh dinner at the ICC every year. It's about 500 people come, all really important Midlands television people. It's just the best night of the year in the Midlands television calendar and people will tell you that too. Um, so my job to date, my various jobs to date, I started, didn't do very well at school I'm afraid, sorry, I uh, was the first year to take GCSEs, failed quite a few of those, uh, took my A-levels, uh, failed all of those, didn't go to college or university, started work for a bank and I worked for the Royal Bank of Scotland um, Rupert, sorry, three years in, I was their top performing sales manager in the UK um, and I stayed there for in that position for quite a while. So I found that I enjoyed talking to people, helping them, and that in turn became a sales career for me. So I really enjoyed that and I did incredibly well there. I then joined forces with a couple of other people that I knew and we set up a financial services company of our own, which we ran successfully for nine years. I had three offices, 17 sales staff, 10 administrators, um, and I was responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the business, for the business development, um, and for all of the compliance sides and making sure we were trading properly. From there, I took voluntary redundancy and I went to work in an organisation called Business Link, which was a public sector funded organisation. So very, very different from working in the private sector where you have to make your own money. Um, we're now working for a, a sector where the government is funding us. It's very, very different. I was a consultant to the events and marketing department for there uh, for seven months on a short term contract. And I was also responsible for auditing the European funding, which was a very interesting. Uh, and I learned an awful lot there. From there, I fell into my job with the Royal Television Society because basically I was offered the job. So somebody said, come and do some work for us. Come and do some business development work for us. And I did, and I've loved it. And I really, really enjoy what I do with the RTS. I meet some fantastic people, really exciting stuff. Um, and then because of the pandemic, the work just tailed off a little bit. So I needed some other work to keep me going. So I now also work as a consultant for the School of Arts at the University of Worcester. And I work as a business development manager for the Undercroft Learning Centre at Worcester Cathedral, which is just the most beautiful building. And I hope to show you all in there very soon. 
So that's what I do, and that's how I got to where I am today. Um, what advice would I give to a young person looking to build a career in the creative industries? That would be the same for any industry. Never stop learning. Do whatever you can to continually hone your skills. Make sure that every opportunity that comes your way, you're taking it, that you're learning, that you're giving yourself every chance that you can to be the very, very best that you can be at your job.